Hey viewers, in today's video we're going to show you how to change the brake pads on these Bond Traeger Triple X carbon brakes. It's pretty much the same process on most Shimano brake sets as well. And be sure to keep watching because we're not only going to show you how to properly align the pads to the rim, but a quick way to make sure that the calipers are centered to the wheel when braking. First of all, let's remove the front tire. It'll give us better access to the pad and make it easier to remove. I actually found a set of Bond Trigger replacement pads on eBay, but they also sell some Shimano replacement pads, which will work just as well on Amazon. I have a link below if you'd like to check them out. Okay, so I just wanted to show you really quick how these pads are shaped. A little rounded in the front, a little bit more squared in the back, and they have this curve to them, so it's pretty hard to put them on the wrong way, and they only go on one side as well. Okay, next we're gonna turn the caliper so we can slide the uh, pad out the back without hitting the fork. I believe we're using a uh, five millimeter hex wrench here. Now, loosen the set screw in the back. We're using a two millimeter hex wrench for this. You don't have to loosen the bolt all the way out. Just loosen it enough so you can slide the pad out the back. Then just simply push the pad towards the rear. You'll notice how the pad is more rounded in the front and a little bit more squared in the back. Also, you'll note that there's a little groove or notch in the pad. This is where the set screw screws in to hold the pad in place. It's also a good idea to check the pad for any deep grooves or pitting. So here's our new pad. Go ahead and check it out even though it's new to make sure there's nothing on the surface where it's gonna be hitting the rim. And also you'll see the same curvature and the notch in the back. That way you'll know for sure it can only go on one side. So just line up the grooves on the pad with the pad holder and just slide it in. Next, just tighten the set screw. Um, these usually stay in pretty good, but if you'd like, you can put a little bit of Loctite on it just so it doesn't uh, come loose. They can, so just check them every now and then. Now just turn the caliper the other way and repeat the process. Install the wheel back in place and engage the uh, quick release. Squeeze the brake lever and notice how the pad is hitting the rim. Make sure the front of the pad and the rear of the pad are both hitting the center of the braking surface. You don't want the pad hitting the tire or below the braking surface. When you have it where you want it, Tighten the bolt a little bit so it doesn't move and then squeeze the lever and push the brake pad against the rim and then tighten the rest of the way. You may have to hold the pad so it doesn't shift on you. Okay, as we promised, here's a quick way to tell if your calipers are centered correctly. Stand directly above the tire and the brake caliper and squeeze the lever several times. If the tire is being pushed to the left or to the right, you have to make an adjustment. Use your wrench and turn the caliper either left or right to where it's not pushing the tire one way or the other. The caliper should stay in place. If not, loosen the brake mounting bolt on the back of the fork, make your adjustment again, and then retighten the mounting bolt. On most rim brakes, the arm farthest from the cable side usually travels farther than the uh, other one, but that's no problem, just so the calipers are not shoving the tire one way or the other, as you can see here. Well, thanks for watching everyone and check out our channel, Bicycle Restoration Man. And we have plenty of uh, restored bikes on there to look at and a lot of how-to videos as well. See you for the next one.